If a farmer wants his tobacco to go from the curing barn to the sale barn, there's only one way to get the crop ready. Tobacco is still stripped by hand. Grab a leaf and pull, and keep pulling. Think typing all day on your computer is tough? This is exhausting work. There has been some efforts in the past and continuing efforts to try to mechanize this process. Uh, but most of the research that we've shown through the years, it comes back down to that, that method of pulling it off by hand. The farm crew at the UT Ag Research Center in Greenville strips about two dozen acres of experimental tobacco grown here, where researchers look for varieties resistant to diseases, such as black shank and blue mold. One of the main areas that we have uh, from a research standpoint is developing new varieties uh, of burley. Uh, as well as dark fire cured, which is grown in other parts of the state. Tennessee grew as much as 50,000 acres of tobacco as recently as the mid-90s, but now we're down to about 15,000 acres every year. There are several reasons for this decrease. Tobacco has the stigma of being used for chewing and cigarettes, unhealthy habits. With a drop in smoking, there's not as much need for the crop. But there was also a tobacco buyout in 2004, the result being farmers are now faced with a changing market for their product. And since then, many producers decided to stop growing the crop. One of the main reasons that we've seen such a decrease in, in acreage is simply because the profit margin per acre or per pound has is, is decreased so much. Ellis says tobacco may be down, but it's not gone and remains a part of Tennessee's agricultural heritage. Even in recent years, it still ranks in the top five cash crops in the state, agricultural cash crops in the state of Tennessee. In the future, there could be possible niche markets for tobacco, including in gardening, and ironically, it could be used as medicine. But one thing about tobacco farming hasn't changed. When it comes to market prep, it takes hard work and strong hands. This is Chuck Denny reporting.